Hi, if you have been struggling with the law of attraction and manifestation, then you are in the right spot. Today we are breaking down manifestation, what it is, how it works, and how you can use it to improve your life. You may want to grab a pad of paper and a pen because today we are going to go through a ton of extremely valuable and powerful information. We're going to define what manifestation is. We're going to discuss the three phases of manifestation. And we're also going to review the five core exercises that you can do to leverage the three phases of manifestation in your life and make changes happen. Okay, what is the art or the skill of manifestation? Manifestation is taking your thoughts and taking your desires, the things you want, and bringing them into reality in your life, creating them in your life and the world around you for real. The way that we accomplish this is that we properly focus our mental and emotional energy and our actions in order to create real change in our real lives. So that is what manifestation is. The next question, of course, is how do we do it? And in order to understand how we do it, we're going to review the three phases of manifestation. And the three phases of manifestation are one, attraction, number two, vibrational alignment, and number three, creation. Attraction, vibrational alignment, and creation. Three separate and distinct phases in the process of manifestation. Okay, phase one of the manifestation process. Phase one is the attraction phase. The attraction phase is where we bring all the resources we need to create the changes we want in our life into our own personal world. Virtually everything you need, everything you require to create the changes you want in the world and in your life exists right now out in the world in the universe somewhere. All the money exists now. All the ideas, inspiration out there right now. All the customers, all the connections, all the coincidences, all the opportunities, all the energy, everything you need to create the changes in, you want in your life exist out there right now somewhere, someplace. The problem is that there is a large difference between our own personal world and the world at large. Our own personal world consists of all the ideas, information, people, resources that we personally know, are aware of, and have access to. And most people's personal worlds are a lot smaller than the entire universe or the entire world at large. So although we personally may right now have access to an awareness of a lot of ideas, knowledge, information, resources, and people, there's way, way, way more resources out there that exist that we aren't aware of, that we don't know about, that we can't use and leverage because although they exist, they're outside of our own personal world. We don't know about them. We're not aware of them. We can't use them. We can't leverage them. And so what we're doing during phase one, the attraction phase, is we're bringing more of those unknown resources into our own personal world. So we can know about them, so we do have access to them, so that we are aware of them, and we can use them and leverage them to create the changes we want in our lives. We're bringing them from outside our world to inside our world where we can use them. And how we do this, how we bring these resources into our own personal world is by amplifying and properly focusing our mental and emotional energy. Because our mental and emotional energy can go out there into the universe, into the world, anywhere. And it can connect with, it can influence, it can nudge, it can align all those resources that are outside our own personal world with our goals. And bring them into alignment with and into our own personal world. This is the attraction phase. We're attracting the resources we need from where they are now into our own personal world so we can use them. So how do we do this? How do we activate the attraction pillar to get all those great resources into our own personal world? There are two main exercises that we use in Active Path Law of Attraction to activate the attraction pillar. And those are actualization and the emotional reversal. Both of these are extremely powerful techniques that will draw those resources to you. 
Actualization is the technique we use when we're feeling good, when we're feeling great, inspired, happy, excited about our goals. When we've got a lot of natural positive energy about our goals, we use actualization. And actualization amps it up and properly focuses it in the present moment so that it can actually go out and create real changes in the real world. You can think of actualization like visualization on steroids. It's way more powerful, way more effective, and way faster acting than the standard visualization most people are taught. So if you're feeling great and you want to activate the attraction pillar of manifestation, you use actualization. If you haven't learned actualization yet, click on the link in the comments. Try out your first Active Path LOA lesson. It's free. We don't even need your email. From there, you can learn more and more and we'll teach you how to do actualization for free. The second technique we use for the attraction phase of manifestation is the emotional reversal. The emotional reversal is when you're feeling mad, angry, frustrated, upset, depressed, anxiety. When you're feeling negative emotions, especially towards your goal, that's when you use the emotional reversal. Negative emotions, we all know, carry a lot of energy. And that energy, when properly used and properly focused, is very powerful. And when you focus it properly with the emotional reversal technique, you can use all of that tremendous energy to create the changes you do want in your life. Okay, so that's phase one, the attraction phase. We're bringing all those great, powerful resources into our personal world. That brings us to phase two, vibrational alignment. The vibrational alignment phase is critical. I think we are all aware that we operate in a very complex world, and our brains filter out irrelevant stuff for us so we can just focus on what's important to us. Our brains will bring what's important to us to our awareness and anything that's just deemed average or not important at the time, we kind of walk by and miss and don't even notice it's there. And I think we're all also aware that our mental and emotional state in any particular moment can greatly affect that filter. It can greatly influence what gets in and what remains filtered out. A person who's feeling great, optimistic, passionate, energized is going to notice different things in their environment than someone who may be feeling not so good, maybe a little depressed, withdrawn, and sad. And we can Draw this out in an example, two people attending the exact same party. Someone can be in a great mood, happy, just feeling energized, and they're gonna have a pretty good experience at the party. They'll probably notice more of the foods they like, the songs they like, the pleasant conversations, the laughter that's happening, and they're going to leave that party saying, hey, that was a good party. Someone attending the exact same party who may be feeling a little down, a little depressed, a little anxious, well, they're more likely to notice the foods they don't like, the boring conversation, the gaps in conversation, the songs they don't like, and they're going to leave that same party with a different impression. Maybe that it wasn't such a great party. Same party, two different vibrational alignments, two different experiences. And it's this filtering mechanism that is really, really crucial in the vibrational alignment phase of the manifestation process. Because if we look at those two people, they brought the exact same resources into their lives. Think of the attraction phase. You're bringing resources into your life. They both brought the same party in the same location with the same music, same food, same attendees, but they noticed and were aware and interacted with completely different things and had completely different experiences. So although we may draw all the resources we require into our personal world through the attraction phase, our vibrational alignment will determine what we do and do not notice, what does and does not notice us, and what we actually do interact with and leverage in order to create change in our lives. Drawing all these resources into our lives is great, but if we don't notice them, if we're not aware of them, if we don't leverage them, if we're not vibrationally aligned to them so they enter our consciousness, we're aware of them and can use them, then them being in our personal worlds doesn't matter. It's useless. If we're not properly 
aligned vibrationally, then we'll bring all these things into our world, which is great, but we won't notice them. The perfect opportunity could be sitting in front of us and we'll say, no, we'll walk past it. We might not notice it. It could be the perfect book, perfect piece of information, standing beside the perfect person that can change your life and your vibrational alignment is the difference between striking up a conversation with them and walking away. And when these resources come into your life, they're not going to sit around and hang around forever. Other people are drawing things into their lives all the time. And if you bring resources into your life and you don't notice them, don't leverage them, don't act on them, they're going to move on to someone else who will. So if you're only focused on attracting resources, attracting resources, attracting resources, and you're not focusing on being aligned to them vibrationally as well, then you're going to miss the boat. In Active Path Law of Attraction, there are two main techniques we use in order to maintain a proper vibrational alignment with what we want to create. And these are the social mirror exercise and proper appreciation. In the social mirror exercise, we use deeply ingrained human instincts for our benefit, to be what we want to be in the present moment. If we want to be someone who's wealthy, the social mirror exercise enables us to be a wealthy person in the present moment. It enables us to be someone who's in the fantastic relationship or has the fantastic job or has the business that's growing exponentially in the present moment. And when we are being that in the present moment, we are more vibrationally aligned with those opportunities, ideas, inspirations, people, resources, energy, money that are in our personal world that were there before or that we have drawn into our personal world. And once we are vibrationally aligned with them, we notice them, we leverage them. And this brings us to the third phase of manifestation. First, we have the attraction, bringing resources to us. Then we have vibrational alignment, so we're even aware that the resources are there. We notice them and we can use them. And that brings us to the creation phase, which is phase number three creation phase. What we use to activate the creation phase is taking action. Action is what turns all the probabilities sitting in front of us into realities. You have to act on, use, leverage the resources you brought into your life in order for your dreams, your hopes, your desires to become reality. When you're creating large changes in your life, they don't come out of nowhere. You go through steps and stages. You don't just wake up one morning, the CEO of a $100 million company. You don't just roll over in bed one morning and your perfect soulmate is lying beside you from out of nowhere. You don't just wake up in the morning, drive to a company, and you have a job there. And although it would be really, really nice, you're not going to just sit on your couch watching TV, thinking happy thoughts, and wake up in the morning and there's a million dollars in your bank account. It's not how things work. You need to take action. So there we have the three phases of manifestation. The attraction phase, bringing the resources from out in the world, out in the universe, where we don't know about them, where we're not aware of them, where we can't use them, into our own personal world. Once they are there, vibrational alignment, phase two, vibrational alignment. So now that they are in our personal area, our personal world, we can be aware of them. We do recognize them. We can use them. Phase number three, using them, actually taking action and creating the changes we want in our lives and in the world around us. If you have found this video helpful, then you know there are millions of other people who can also get benefit from this video. Please like it. Please put a comment on it because that tells YouTube to send it to more people and more people can see it and more people can gain benefit from it. If you would like to learn more about Active Path Law of Attraction, then please click the link in the comments below. It will take you to your first Active Path Law of Attraction lesson. It's completely free. You don't even need to put in your email address. I just want you to go there and experience it for yourself. It's going to open up a whole new world of Law of Attraction and Manifestation to you. And also click on and watch one of these other videos because it is going to blow your mind and open up a whole new world of power and ability for you. I'm Tom Riley. Until next time, remain at choice.